Hello, and thank you for your interest in the energy blankets. We are really excited to get the experiments going this year and see what happens. So we will be talking about two different um, energy blankets, one that has hangers on it, and the other one is more of a weighted blanket. Each blanket comes with a set of handheld wands. The wands can be used alone or in conjunction with your energy blankets. When working with the energy blanket with the hangers, you'll notice that there are 10 hangers. At the top and the bottom are two sets of longer hangers. The end with the longest hangers is the top. So when using the energy blanket, you're going to want your head up to the top and then your feet go towards the bottom in the other direction, something like this. The energy blanket has 10 hangers. Let's start with the top two, the longest ones. These are the ones for um, the loved ones to hold while sending their love or exercising. I think if, if you're using them by yourself, I would suggest laying them like on your collarbones, just below the shoulder or above the chest. But for right now, let's set those two aside. The second set of hangers goes under the armpit and around the heart area. The third set goes around the waist above the belly button. And the fourth set goes under the belly button and above the hips. You can either wrap these hangers around yourself or let them hang to the side, whichever you prefer. The fifth set or the last set goes under your legs. When a single person is using the energy blanket alone, the top two hangers can either hang um, above the head or you can put them on the collarbones or hold them in your hands, whichever you prefer. When two people are using the energy blanket, one person will be the giver and the other person will be the receiver. The receiver will be the one laying on top of the energy blanket with the hangers wrapped around them or laying to the side. The giver will be the one hanging on to the top two uh, hangers if they're in the room and if they're not in the room or able to hang on to the top two hangers that's when they would hold the handheld wands instead. When using the handheld wands the giver could choose to meditate, do some yoga, uh, go for a walk, go for a run or even use exercise equipment while holding the energy wands to share that energy with the receiver. When using the weighted energy blanket Find a way that is most comfortable for you or the person using the blanket, whether that's having the blanket um, lay on top of them, wrapped around them, or them laying on top of the blanket. There's really no wrong way to use the weighted energy blanket. The handheld wands with the weighted blanket can be used the same way as described for the, um, the energy blanket with the hangers or the person receiving the energy with the blanket can just hold them in their hands. The energy wands can be used um, without the energy blanket. So if you wanna take them while you go out for a jog or a walk, um, try to using them during meditations. We have found some great results. So we hope that you are really creative in how you use the energy blankets and the energy wands and share with us your experiences. Thank you so much.